fate more than brand. And I absolutely love this dress. It's beautiful. It's everything that I can ask for. I was thinking about wearing it, but I don't know if I can because I don't want to keep you guys just waiting and I'm like struggling to fit into the dress. But I have it here with me, so I'm just going to grab it to show you guys what I love about this dress. Just give me one second. Okay, I am back. This is the dress. Absolutely gorgeous. Such a beautiful dress. And like I said, I don't know if my bum is going to fit this dress right now, but <laughs> I'm sure it will. But I just don't want to, you know, stay in the corner and try to like struggle to fit into it. But this is such a cutie patootie kind of dress. It is, look at the sleeves, like, I just love it. So it has that puff sleeve effect a little bit. And then the square neckline. Like, honestly, just imagine you're, you, you're a woman, you're pregnant, yeah? And then you have all these things going on. Everything is changing. Maybe your boobs are getting bigger. Your belly is getting bigger because you're growing life within you. And with all these changes going on in your body that you could, you never like really knew would happen. Like it's so fast. Like I knew my body was going to change, but the way it happened, I had to like make sure that I found other ways that made me feel beautiful. And I wasn't down on myself because of those changes. And honestly, clothes, makeup, shoes were the avenue that I actually focused on to make me feel more beautiful and content and okay with the changes that's going on in my body and at the same time I was so proud of myself for carrying life within me so just imagine you're wearing this dress you know with all the changes going on within you and you just feel absolutely beautiful just because this dress is cut perfectly square neck showing some clavicle, you know, some chest area going on. And you style this dress with the perfect, like let's say, wedge sandals or the perfect kitten heels. Oh my gosh, you would feel on top of the world <laughs> if you were pregnant. Like definitely feel on top of the world with the way you look, just because you might be going through like so many symptoms during pregnancy. But just taking that time for yourself to focus on yourself and taking care of your mental health and your physical being, it's just phenomenal. I, I love it. So I would encourage anyone that is watching, if you're pregnant or if you know a friend that's pregnant, you could always just find that time to take them out to the spa, you know, a foot massage or a pedicure or a manicure session just for them to get something that would make them feel a little bit more you know good about themselves or you could get them a new pair of shoes or you could get them a new handbag anything that would make them feel you know more enthusiastic I don't know how to describe it but I hope you guys get what I'm trying to say but just because there's a lot going on already emotionally and I feel like, you know, clothes and other things that would help distract them from what's going on, it's actually a good thing as well. But this dress is absolutely a favorite of mine right now in my closet. And I cannot wait to wear this even after my baby. And like I said, I could still, I could wear this to a wedding, to a, a brunch, to church. I can wear this dress everywhere and anywhere, I tell you. And I can style it with anything. Sneakers, shoes, heels, anything you can think of, main it, you can style this dress with it. And um, I don't know why my knee's kind of itchy. It's so weird. But yeah, so that's it with this dress that I'm sharing with you guys. And I just wanted to like, you know, let you guys know that yes, my take on maternity wear is quite different honestly but this is who i am and i don't want to, i didn't want to come on here and sell you guys on oh these are the alternative wears that i'm wearing but i'm not really wearing them but i just wanted to show you guys 
you know, this is who I am, this is what I think, what Instagram for me is, and I am sure, because I have a friend who was pregnant with me, um, she had a baby already, but she also struggled with finding maternity wear that would fit her body and make her feel beautiful and comfortable. But, you know, for her, she had to start going up a size in her clothes, in her regular clothes, just because she wasn't able to find, you know, some maternity wear that would fit. But I like the fact that Very Shop has a few brands that do carry maternity wear, and you can actually purchase them if that's what you really want. You could purchase them, try them out, see if they fit. If they fit, awesome. If they don't fit, that will make you feel as beautiful as you want to. You could always return them. <laughs> or you could also just, you know, go buy regular clothes, go up a size. Because ultimately for me, it's about how you feel and what you're wearing and feeling comfortable and confident at the same time. And, you know, just being pregnant alone comes with these challenges challenges but I feel like there are ways whereby you can as a woman you know introduce different ways to still feel beautiful while being pregnant and for me the clothes jewelry shoes and for you it might be something else like you spend no quality time with your family you know or like let's say cooking I've been cooking a lot as well <laughs> but um like I said before just have fun with your clothes in your closet and don't just give up on all the clothes that you used to have. Go in there, you might find something that would blow your mind. And you're like, oh my gosh, this still fits. Like, yes, I can still wear this for like maybe a few more months before it no longer fits. And like I said before, go up a size, go to the men's section, go into your husband's or significant other's closet and like pick up something. It doesn't, just don't limit yourself or feel like it has to be a particular way. Be flexible because life comes with changes, unexpected terms. So just always be flexible and open-minded. And like I said earlier, just to remind you guys, if you're joining us again, today's show is about maternity wear. And I shared a few regular clothes with you guys and a few brands that do carry maternity wear. Uh, but I don't have any of them here with me. But the brands that I did, sh I did share with you guys, you can go ahead and make your purchases if you're pregnant or if you have a friend who's pregnant, you can buy them that maternity jeans, those maternity shorts, just for them to feel more beautiful and wear them with like what they already have in their closet. And there's that sale of 15% off um, going on right now on top of the sale items here on Berry Shop. So you know what to do and make that purchase right now of the 15% off to get that 15% off or you can make that purchase 30 minutes after this live show to get your discount of that 15% off. And this outfit, I was still feeling it, still feeling this look. I do not know why, but I feel like this is like one of my favorite looks that I've worn while being pregnant because it's so breezy. I am not going to be hot in this. And yeah, this is so, so, so fabulous. But thank you guys for joining on, and I forgot to mention, if you had any questions, feel free to ask right now, and I will be able to answer those questions to the best of my abilities, or if you had like any tips you wanted to get some ideas on, and stuff like that for styling purposes. But um, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining on. I really appreciate your time, and I will see you guys. Hopefully, if I'm still here <laughs> on next week's Saturday, because I remember last week's Saturday, I was like, I don't know if I'm going to be here this Saturday, but I'm here. Um, <laughs> thanks, Patty Ballerin, love you too. Um, so, if I'm still here next week, Saturday, I will be on here again at 12.30 p.m. talking about, you know, maybe some of the few pieces that you guys liked um, from my previous live streams, but... Thank you for your time. I appreciate your efforts to join on to this live. And I will see you guys again next week, um, Saturday at 12.30. And do have a lovely weekend. Spend some time with your family members and your friends. Do something fun. Take care of yourself mentally, physically, emotionally. Go on a hike. Embrace the sun. Go, <laughs> go on a bicycle ride or something. But I will see you guys again next week. Thank you. Bye.